Standing with it, y'all. It's your boy, Neighborhood Nip. Big shout out to my homeboy, DJ Dill. No question, Neighborhood Nip. I'm an addict for sneakers. Sneaker Addicts, what up? It's your boy, DJ Dills, back with a brand new video. You gotta be persistent and keep trying because you will get your pair most of the time. Sometimes you don't. I mean, let's get real. Sometimes you don't. But uh, these shoes I was able to get this morning at Foot Locker. Some people didn't pick up their pairs. And you should try calling up your Foot Locker or just going over there champs all these stores that are local around your way because if people don't pick them up today you're able to scoop up your pair and i was able to get these let's check them out together bong bong we got them let's check out how they look all right so here we go with the detailed look check them out they do come with white laces I think I'm gonna go with the black laces, give it that extra pop. Kind of just sets it off, I think, with the black laces. Um, there's so much white going on already, so that's what I'm going with with them. But let me know what you are gonna go with when it comes down to these kicks right here. As far as the leather, uh, the leather's nice. It is nice. You do have um, some decent suede on it. I will say that's a pretty nice suede, I will say that. Um, you have some really soft leather in red up top. I mean, this is a really nice leather with more suede in black in the back. This is a nice shoe. Great materials used on this shoe. This is definitely worth all the hype. These things had some real hype to them. Why did they have so much hype? Let me know in the comments and please hit the thumbs up button if you are happy that I got these and, um... Hit the thumbs down button if you are mad that I got them. If you're hating right now, it's okay. That release will help you. Just hit the thumbs down button if that's the case. Uh, you do have your Nike branding right there. And just a quick look at the toe. And then inside right there, you have your branding. And um, I will be uploading this early because I want you guys to see that you can get your shoes days after the shoe releases. So that's my whole reason why I want to get this up earlier. I know it's better if the video is uploaded in the evening, it'll perform better, but I really want to try to help you all out so that if you have time, shoot over to your store, try to give them a call. I know a lot of the stores ain't picking up the phone, but um, you know, they gave um, people that won the raffles a good amount of time to pick up their shoes. I think now they're giving them two days, depending on where it is. And there was a lineup in the morning. There was a bunch of people lined up in the morning. Look, we hear foot It's trying to get them. Right now, I think you're lying. I just don't know what Eleven o'clock, the store opened. And um, I'm happy I was able to get these because I think these look so dope on feet. I was really trying to get them. And um, I was a little salty that I wasn't able to get them. Um, you know, this was a big weekend as far as sneaker releases because we had these Jordan 1s that dropped and we also had the Yeezys that released. So, you know, Jordan 1s, you can never go wrong with them. I actually have these right here too, man. Gorgeous, the classics right here. Um, and it definitely, you know, kind of gives off that up top right there. Um, just showing a little bit of that um, classic vibe. Of course, there's a premium suede. This is a nice material. I mean, it is a nice. When you do the wipey wipe, you can see wipey wipe. When you see that, that hair move like that, that's nicey nice right there. But um, yeah, man. I like them. That's why I bought them. This is, you know, if you see me in the in my house reviewing the shoe, that means I like the shoe. Like, you know, I try to give you guys reviews on all sneakers, and sometimes I'll do them at retailers because I, I personally don't care for them. But if I'm coming out of my pocket to buy the shoe, then you already know I dig them. So, um, yeah, man, let's show them on feet. Let's rock. As far as the fit, true to size on these teens right here, and I think they look dope, man. I really do. Um, some may like the white laces, but as I said, I think the, the black laces is what's going to be what it is, man. Uh, there's already so much white and gray on the upper, but it, it may just make it more of a cleaner look. I think it may actually make it more of a cleaner look, but I prefer the black laces. 
Let me know what you think. And if you want me to show them with the white laces, just hit the thumbs up button and tell me in the comments, yo, give us that with the white laces. I need to see that. And I got you. I definitely got you. We got a lot of requests and thumbs ups. I got you. This channel is to entertain y'all. So if that's what you need, you let me know and I will deliver what you need. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think these are so dope. And listen, that's the lesson, man. Don't give up. If you want these shoes, you go for them. Try going for them today because there's a good chance they may have your size at your local retailer. They had them for me. There was a lineup, though. There were people trying to get them. So, you know, good luck. I think that these are really dope, man. Real unique. I love how it has the red going above it. Remind me of like a headband on a pair of J's, right? That red wrapping around. I dig it. It's a cool idea, cool concept. And uh, you know, sometimes new colorways are dope. And, and in this case, that is the case. So salute to Jordan Brand. As much as I will tell it how it is, and if they give you some that's garbage, I'm gonna say it's garbage, I also will salute them. Because at the end of the day, I'm a fan of the brand. I love Jordan sneakers, I'm a huge fan of Michael Jordan. So it's never me trying to be mean or attack a brand i'm just giving honest reviews for you the people the viewers because that's who i care about i care about you all i got love for my viewers people that love sneakers that's why we do these videos here all right once again true to size on these if you go up half the size get something to avoid creasing one of those sneaker shields or something like that and uh, man i love them i'm so happy i got them really happy i got these um let me know if you picked them up was it a pass let me know Cop flip or skip, leave it all, and you know I gotta hit you with the infamous bird's eye. Break out your one. Look, I'll share a photo with you guys. This is Pequeno Juan when he was a little baby. That's when we first got him at the pet store in a, in a box. That's what they gave it to us. Good old New York. <laughs> nice little old man, Pequeno Juan. But we love you, Pequeño Juan. We love Pequeño And there we go with a detailed look. Let me know what you thought of these shoes right here. Overhyped or hot fire, fire, flames. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for tuning in. Pick up the new Sneaker Attic t-shirts link below. Join my Patreon. You got a podcast twice a month and it's dope with Q&A. So much fun. Check it all out. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know if these are hot, not or shit let me know also did you cop flip or is it a skip <laughs> thanks for tuning in i hope you had fun i did we out we're at the comedy zone and we're about to check out mick foley he's got his stand-up routine he's gonna tell us a bunch of tales of the road from his book and i'm gonna get my funko pop autographed of course you know i collect the funko pops so let's go inside DJ Dells, you know I love you. All right, we're here. That's a hardcore legend, huh? And he's a WWE Hall of Famer. Ladies Woo! and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Mick Foley. Yeah! Foley! Foley! Man, we are up close, right? Awesome. <laughs> Is that kind of strange for you guys, being this close? All right, so I'm back home from the 2020 Mick Foley show. Was it worth going to? That's the big question. I think so. If you're a fan of wrestling, this is something that you want to go to. And as far as pricing, it's $25 for a regular seat. And if you wanted the VIP, it was $50. Now, I recommend the VIP because if you get VIP, you sit up close and you get this 11 by 17 autograph with Mick Foley, Dude Love, Mankind, three autographs. The print is a nice quality print. And then you're able to bring whatever item you want and he will autograph it too. If, you know, unless it's something that he does not want to sign, of course, he's not going to sign it. Brought the Funko Pop. You go to a convention, you're not going to get this for $50. No way are you getting something like this for $50. So... Getting this and then seeing him perform live, telling amazing stories on the road. Uh, some I've heard before, I'm not going to lie. But there was a bunch that I did not hear. And um, from what I did not hear, it was worth it. And even the stuff that I knew about already, it was just cool to watch him tell these stories. 
It was really a lot of fun. He brought people up on stage to interact with while he was telling the stories. It was really great. I don't want to spoil the show, so I'm not going to really get into details of what exactly he speaks about. He has a hilarious story, though, with Stone Cold Steve Austin, Diamond Dallas Page. I've never heard this story in my life. You definitely will die laughing if you go to this show. He imitates Stone Cold pretty well, too, and he roasts the shit out of Diamond Dallas Page at one point. You know, a friendly roast, you know. Uh, it, it was so much fun hearing all these stories. And, um, you know, he's up there, one-man guy, just killing it on stage. He does the Q&A. At one point, this guy proposed to this chick on the stage. It was bonkers. I'll show you the footage to that real quick. We've got ourselves a proposal. Oh, yeah. She said... Unbelievable. I mean, I didn't even see it coming, but it was fantastic. And it was during the Q&A. So, you know, when I seen that, I broke out the camera real quick. As soon as I seen him starting to bend, I was like, I got to film this. I'm not going to post like video of the actual show because, you know, that just messes up the show. And um, you should never film uh, stand up or any kind of performance. I just think that's whack. You know, like Chappelle, even when you go see Dave Chappelle, he literally has like this, these lockup boxes where you can't even have your phone just so you don't have the urge to do that. Um, 